Finishem. Virunaka Mika wins. Fatality. Okay guys, welcome back to uh, part three of this massive unboxing of two big Thredda boxes that amount to a hundred pounds of clothing. If you've missed part one and two, I will link both of them up here. I will probably just put them on a little playlist, whatever. Um, we are down to, God, I hope the last third of these two boxes. I pre-sorted them by items that I'm going to list and items that I may or may not list, slash donate, slash keep. So let's keep going because I'm exhausted. Um, from the two list pile, this is super cute. It's a Banana Republic soft wash shirt in a size medium, has little anchors on it. Love that. I love a good novelty print, so I'm definitely going to list that. And of course, as always, if you guys are interested in anything you see from either pile, let me know and I can certainly sell that to you. Um, I will say when I unboxed the first box, I found a whole ton of free people, such as this We The Free top. So there's definitely a good amount of free people in there. And I don't think I am not listing any of it. Free people and I have a pretty difficult relationship at this point, but yeah, that top was cute enough to list. Um, this is a Pima Cotton a Tommy Hilfiger top in a size large, not top sweater. It's an argyle in the front. Very preppy. I think I'm going to list it because it's a cute style and I feel like that's something that will sell. Going back to a few things that I may or may not list. Uh, this one I like the style, but it's just Jones New York Signature size 6. But it's a nice little belted navy blue career dress. I might just list it based on style for like 15 bucks. I haven't decided yet. It is going in my maybe pile and my maybe pile is getting bigger so I might need a separate bag for that but we shall see. All right another one that I don't think I'll list unless it's good which I doubt. Alice Blue. Just another little shell career top in a size large. It doesn't look like a large to me honest. Well medium to large probably. Um, yeah not sure yet. Probably not but I'm gonna put it in the baby pile. And then this Lurex glitter number, what are you? I remember seeing you, but I don't remember what you are. Oh, it's just the Style & Co. Uh, size PP, which I'm guessing is probably small petite or something, or extra small. Yeah, I'm not listing that. That's gonna go straight into the donate bag. This one looks interesting. I just, I cannot figure out how to even figure out what this would be. I might run it through Google Lens. It does have a whole bunch of care tags down here in different languages, but nothing besides that because the actual tag has been cut out. It's this neon orange textured fabric layered top. I don't know if I want to do anything with that, do any research with it. So I don't know. It's going in my maybe pile. I doubt it. Honestly, I think I'm just going to donate that. Okay, I have a bunch of little sports bras. Let's see, where's the other one? They're both by Champion, and I haven't found a size yet. They also would need to be washed, but just from holding them up, I think one is slightly bigger than the other. One is just black, probably a small, extra small. Again, haven't found a size. And then this is a Champion Power Core or something like that. I mean, they're nice, but they don't have sizes in them as far as I can see, because the tags have been removed. So I think I'll just donate those. No point in wasting time. This is also going to get, <sighs> you know what, Never mind. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It's a blazer. It's like a career blazer by Calvin Klein. And it's a size 14, which is a good size. Um, so I might list that. It's going to go in my maybe pile, which is now spilling onto my couch. This one is a Nikki Biki, which I don't think that's a great brand. Just judging by the tag. And it's also just like a little, what are you? Strappy top, tank top. I don't know. It would probably look cute on a mannequin. 
but I don't think this is anything special. So unless this brand is surprisingly good, I don't know, it's very stretchy. So there's that, but it also doesn't have a size. So putting that in a donate pile, I don't think I want to deal with that. Um, this one is a loft, and Taylor loft, size small, little casual dress in black. And yep, I like this. I think I'm going to list it, but for now it goes in the maybe pile. All right, let's do one more from this end and then we're gonna look at some yeses. Uh, this one is Banana Republic as well. It's an extra, extra small petite, um, which has sold for me before, but uh, it's tricky. And this is just a very basic black rib knit dress. It does have a slit at the bottom on both sides. I don't think I want to list this, <sighs> but we'll see. So we're gonna go over here to the items that I will list. Um, this is so cute. I think it's a vineyard rinds. Yeah, um, vineyard rinds, extra small, uh, little palm leaf top shirt, and it has embroidery. It has these fish embroidery, this fish embroidery all over. This is very cute. I will list that. Mixed results with vineyard rinds, but if I'm getting it in a box like this, I'll list it. This I think I'm only going to list based on style and the fact that it does have a whole like style name. It's also Gap, size four long, and it is the hip slung fit flared leg. And boy, is it flared. Like, this is a good flared leg here. So I am going to list these because I have a whole style name in there. Why not? This is another Nike, so small little track jacket good little staple going to list that unless something is wrong with it this i believe has a really good fabric content it's a kenji which i don't know if that's a good brand cannot tell you but it's acrylic and wool polyester and alpaca kenji don't know it sounds familiar and it's a good little soft sweater with a hood in the back and it's kind of oatmeal color. So I will list that closer to the fall. I have a whole bunch of sweaters I need to list, so that's gonna be interesting. This is just a Bershka, which is not something I would normally pick up, um, but I have picked it up if it's a cute style at the bins. So since it's in my box already, size medium, Bershka, green dress. I think this green color is very trendy right now, so I will try to list that soon also because it's very much a summer dress. I haven't really picked up dresses much lately. And by lately, I mean in the last like two years because I still have so many from before COVID hit uh, and they haven't sold. Uh, this is another Banana Republic extra small. I think this is silk, if I remember correctly. And it's a little shift dress, very cute. There we go, that's going to get listed. And then also I'm going to list these. If you guys have been here for a while, you do know that I sell Fashion Nova. Size 11, I think, yeah. Size 11, high-waisted, skinny jeans, stretchy, not super great quality. I might get 15 bucks for this. Okay, my favorite piece and the one I got most excited for when I pulled it out is right here because it's a Patagonia. It's a zip-up jacket. I don't know what different Patagonia styles are necessarily called. Editing Veronica here. It's actually a better sweater and I was really disappointed to find out that the zipper was all the way broken However, my friend Chloe Coverly Chaos said she would buy it for me anyway Try to fix it and so we agreed on a price which was much lower than what you would normally get for a better sweater But at least I'm making a little bit of money back, but that was pretty much a big bummer This is another new with tax. It's a Cynthia Rowley 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 dress um, and because it's new with tags and because it's cute I will list it it's a size six little color block shift dress good little career piece I like the look of this I mean I wouldn't have been, at the bins I probably would pick this up and send a tooth thread up so why not well we're listing this uh, this is just old navy active and as long as nothing is wrong with this I will probably probably list it maybe load it up with some of the other old navy pieces it's a size large and it's a pair of leggings, but they have this like laser cut perforated detail down here. I think I'm going to list them. So I'm putting them in my listing pile. And then this one, I think is a brand that retails high, but doesn't resell well. It's Hail Bob, but it's a cute style dress. It's kind of like the Chevron 70s looking dress. And I believe it does have bell sleeves, slight, slight trumpet sleeves. 
So I think I'm gonna list that um, based on style and such. It doesn't feel expensive either, so I'd be surprised if I get a lot for it, but hey, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Um, we got a pair of dress pants over here from my not so exciting um, pile, flirtatious, flirt, fl yeah, flirtatious size 11 gray dress pants that I am going to donate because what is that even? And then another blazer by H&M Divided. We're not listing that. We've done that before with free inventory. We had no luck. That's gonna get donated. This, I'm on the fence about this. This is in my maybe pile. Um, it's this brand that I never know what it actually says. GNU, new, I don't know. Um, but it's a striped kind of like beige oatmeal and then blue striped cardigan. I think it's an open front. Yeah, nope, it has one button. So I don't know if I want to list this or not. You guys let me know. I'm leaning towards no. If it accidentally rolls over into my um, maybe pile, then I might, but oh my God, stop falling. But otherwise it's in the no pile. Um, What is this? Oh yeah, this also doesn't have a tag besides the size small. So that is going to get donated because we don't have time for this. All right, something in hot pink. It's also just old Nave. Nope, it's Avia, sold at Walmart. Don't feel like listing this. This is getting donated. And then this, I don't even know what the heck this is. I don't think this has any kind of tag, does it? Nope. A weird paisley pattern, cheap looking and feeling top. No, that's getting donated. Okay, this is kind of cute. It's a Land's End 1X and I would have listed that, but it does have pit stains and I'm not gonna spend time on getting these out. Honestly, it's just too basic for that and it's not a brand that's gonna get me a whole lot of money. And then this is an INC. I'm also going to donate that size two pair of kind of like almost stretchy pants. Donate! My donate pile is growing, but my to list piles are still way bigger. So that is good. Um, this is just a pretty basic H&M skirt, like almost full length, I would say. The polka dots are cute, but it uh, with H&M, it has to be really, really, really cool for me to list it at this point, honestly. Um, this Better Be is the brand, and it's the tiniest little bralette crop top I've ever seen. That's gonna get donated. And then I have more to list in case you're wondering. Uh, this is another loft, extra small. It's so basic though. I don't know if I wanna list that, probably not. All right, let's do something I will list, shall we? Again, nothing super exciting. I think this is also just Old Navy, but it's it has a style name. It's the Elevate Legging. The problem with this one is that it doesn't have a size, as far as I can see, which is a little bit annoying, but I would say probably a medium. These are really nice. They have pockets on the side. I don't know, maybe I'll just lock this up with one of the other ones if they look like they could be the same size. They just maybe help each other out in terms of getting sold as a pre-bundled item. This is also Old Navy Active in a size large, but these are cool. Because they're a faux leather in the front and then just basic black stretchy material in the back. They do have zipper pockets. So I don't know why these are Old Navy Active, but they're cool. I will list these. Any of y'all love Old Navy leggings, you can make a pretty bundle. Um, these are Joy Lab, and I did show a top by Joy Lab in the first part of the unboxing, but that was just in poor condition. These I'm gonna list, it's just a Target activewear brand, but it does okay. I don't pick it up, um, this is a size small, but it also has some accent to it here. So we'll see if I can find a stock photo, probably not. But it's a good good pair of basic leggings. It's probably gonna sell on Macari for like 16 bucks shipped or so. Uh, another free people, extra small, little sweater with a kind of like a raw hem, if you will. Good little lightweight popover for the beach, I would say. Uh, we have something that's new with tags. What is this? Oh yeah, Forever 21. <laughs> Not super exciting. It's from the uh, Forever 21 lingerie section. But it's a little bodysuit. It's probably a small. Did I already say what size it is? I don't know. I'm delirious. It does have little burnout hearts on it. So I will list that for like 12 bucks or so, probably. We're getting there. Okay, this made me laugh because I have like probably five of these long line uh, old navy power soft sports bra bralettes. This is a medium, so too small for me. I love these. Um, this I need to wash because it has uh, some uh, deodorant stains on it. 
but these are so good honestly i highly recommend these i am living in these right now this summer i just wear them with some high-waisted leggings around the house and oh, they're so good they're so good uh power soft long line something like that is what they're called this is another banana republic and i'm is this like vintage banana republic y'all tell me uh it's a little cocktail dress it has like a small flaw flaw up here in the fabric but you cannot see it because it's so tucked away so it's just a little in my opinion also very y2k dress which may actually be the era that it's from so i am going to list this it has pockets size four if you're interested all right this i believe was a brand i wasn't excited for but because it's a substantial jacket yep we're going to list it um it's by lush which is one of those nordstrom brands size small to medium but I think it, it's a wool blend and it's mixed media jacket. It does have a lot of pilling on the inside, which I will treat. Yeah, it's wool polyester and then, yeah, the contrast is not, but I don't know. I will, I will spruce this one up and list it in the fall slash winter. Does it, is it missing a button? Because I will not list it. Okay, it's a one button type of jacket. So we'll list that. All right, this. A Zara size medium to large bodysuit with the ruffles at the top. Looks clean enough. I will, of course, wash it, but that one's going to get listed. And then this is also going to get listed. Even though, wait, nope, never mind. It's a free people. I thought it was something else. Free people size medium. Little very free people boho y tank top. So. That's getting listed. All right, I have a handful to list and a bigger pile of items where I'm on the fence or not planning on listing these. This is a Cabela's Guidewear, and I think it has stains and such somewhere, so I don't know if it's going to be worth it to list that. It's a lightweight hoodie. Um, I'm going to have to look it up, but honestly, condition-wise, yeah, it also has pilling. I don't think this does well, so I'm going to donate that. Then we have some dance skin now size medium leggings donate this is another forever 21 little crop top i'm just yeah it's just it's so little fabric i'm gonna donate that maybe i'll look through the forever 21s and if they're all a size small or medium i'll just lot them up or something i don't know uh, this is another banana republic size small very basic shell top this, I think it's a Charlotte Russe, if I remember correctly. It doesn't really matter. It's just an infinity scarf that I'm not going to list. So that's going to get donated. What else do we have in here? Um, pants that are going to get donated, most likely. Margaret M. Slimming Pant in size small. Yeah, it has a little bit of a texture, but yeah. Nope. Donate. I need to keep my donate and maybe pile separate from one another. Another Old Navy Active with a little bit more wear on it, size small, Caprice. These I think I'm going to donate. And then this brand, I forgot what this is, but it's often sold at, I think, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It's one of those cheaper active wear brands and it's not exciting. That's going to get donated. This number, oh my god. No idea what this is. Probably vintage, maybe homemade um custom made i don't know it's a velvet strapless gown with a big old slit somewhere and if i had any idea what brand or size this is maybe i would list it just because it would probably look really good in photographs but be a pain to photograph but we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna no we're just not this is also not going to get listed express that's a donate. This looks like career wear. Yeah, it's a Valerie Stevens. And it's been dry clean, but yeah, it's a blazer. I hate blazers. Light blue. Donate. What is this? This is kind of cute, but it's also just a Simply Vera Wang and it's a petite large. I don't think I'm going to list this. Yeah, I don't know. It just does not excite me. And then this I would have listed, but it doesn't have a size or any type of tag, but it's a Nautica, I think, based on the logo. And it's a swimsuit. It's a one piece, but again, I have no size for this. So with pre-owned swimwear, unless it's something really good and has a size and everything, I will not even bother. Probably like a small to medium, I would say. Very cute with the nautical look, which makes sense because it's Nautica, but yeah, not worth my time to research this. This is Tahari. And it's a size medium, but it's a very 
basic red burgundy red t-shirt don't think i'll list it but maybe we'll see a ross and ollie size small little top with lace insert i will not list that just because it's not a brand that retails or resells well this i think is also the, okay this one is weird it is forever 21 contemporary which i don't know what kind of line that is but it looks so freaking matronly for forever 21. i don't understand this so i don't let me know if you would list that I, i'm leaning towards no but i'm gonna put it in my maybe pile you what are you i like your print oh this is just an essentials alfani intimates size extra small not a great brand. i mean it's it retails high-ish um it's sold at macy's and such <sighs> but reselling is just yeah it's not worth it so i'm gonna donate that this is another Old Navy Active Breathe On tank. I don't think I'm going to list this just because it's so basic. So again, I might give it another look and try to create specific bundles by size and just, I don't know, list them for 15 bucks. We'll see. Also not listing this Morona black t-shirt. Okay, this is the other piece of underwear. <laughs> and this is just a Gilligan, 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 Gilligan um, cheeky bikini uh target brand little piece of underwear I don't, it retails for seven bucks so what's the point in listing this really so i'm going to donate that at least the other one that i had by the other brand what was it forgot gap or something retailed for like 13. this is the other venus top that's the same as the purple one but i'm not going to keep that that's gonna get donated doesn't have a size and the other one i'll only keep obviously if it fits this is a very basic black and taylor pencil skirt not listing that um also with everything where i said donate this might also some of that might also just end up in a box that i'm sending back to thread up as long as it has a size this is another weird number it did it did have a size somewhere i think it's a yeah it's a medium it's like some sort of cold shoulder top but it has no brand nothing in it and it's weird to show and i just don't want to deal with it oh this was one of the first things i pulled out it's an l size medium although i think this is a swiss dot little top um i don't think i want to list this but i might because for some reason whenever i list something by l it gets a lot of attention it's very bizarre and it's just sold at colts okay two more things from the box with the donate slash maybe slash no items this i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this i have to look it up the brand is better batter butter nadia I have no idea what this tag is. It's very strange. And then this is the back of it. Yeah, no idea. But it also feels cheap and looks very dingy, honestly. Might just be my lighting. And it's just like a little, little beach dress. I just, I hate this, sorry. That's gonna get donated. This one made me a little sad, um, but I, yeah, okay. It's BCBG Max Azria, which I would probably list. It's also a jumpsuit in a really pretty blue color. Which... Problem with this is it has multiple flaws. It's missing a size for one. This is what it looks like, jumpsuit. It's missing the size. Um, one of these loops for the button has come off and I think there was another flaw somewhere. Oh yeah, it has belt loops, but does not have a belt. So that's just too much that uh, speaks against it, if you ask me. So that's gonna get donated as well. Okay, good. So we have a few items left in my to list pile. So we're gonna end on a higher note. I don't think any of these were super duper amazing what I have left in here, but we're just gonna go through them. Um, this is in Under Armour. Wait, where'd it go? Here we go. It also does not have a size, but because it's a cute style, I think I will measure and list this as the writing on there. It's a cute jogger pant. Yeah, I'll list that. It's probably a size medium, I would say. Maybe a small if you want the oversized fit, but yeah, I'll measure it and list it because I like that. Um, this is a point sewer, sewer, point, point sewer. I always want to pronounce this the French way, but I don't think that's what it is, which is like a J. Crew line size small, little sweater, a little bit of open knit detail. I'm listing that. This is an ASOS size 14. Um, and even for that, I would say it's oversized. Well, you know what? This might be a mini dress because it has a tie too. So this might go for 
mini dress. Oh my god, I'm so exhausted. Last piece. Is it exciting? No, it's not. Oh, actually, well, it's not super exciting, but it's. I, I was excited to find this in a Threadup box because I don't think I've ever found this brand in a Threadup box, and I pick it up all the time. My favorite brand for reselling, tore it. It's a size four, and I have to clean it up a bit, but it's, yeah, it's a good little casual dress with a little bit of ruching, I think, somewhere. Pleating, yeah. Right here. It's a good little style. I like it. And if it still has the care tag, I can find the style number and hopefully find a nice little stock photo. So I was very happy to pull that out, even though it's very simple, very plain. But I can probably get 20, maybe even 25 bucks for it. Um, happy that it's a size four too. And that's all she wrote. I have two empty boxes and a lot of uh, clothing to get through. I'm trying not to knock over my drink that's next to me, which I will enjoy now uh, that all this work is done. Yeah, let me know in the comments of this or the previous videos what you thought about this box. Again, I will do the math and put it over here somewhere and also in the description what my average cost of goods is based on the amount of items that I'm listing. I'll also include information on how many items I got in total. Make sure to go back and watch the others. I will actually link them at the end on my end screen and they will also be linked in the description down below. I have a lot of work to do now listing all of these, but for tonight I will just move them out of the way and relax and have a drink because I'm exhausted. I will say that if you have a YouTube channel and you're thinking about getting these boxes or this this box, even though it comes into, if you can film this during the day, you know, if you don't have a kid running around or a full-time job, definitely do that because doing this after hours, I'm tired, my brain's tired and this bright light in my face is not helping. So I will say cheers, this bite, and thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, bye.